Hey guys, welcome to Trinity's training page. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, our training tab and how we use it properly. Uh, I've got my son's dog here, Ford. Uh, he is a, a black dog as you can see and I thought it'd be a little bit easier to, uh, to see on the video uh, to see this training tab uh, work. Um, what I've got here is I've just, I'm actually giving a couple of these away today. Sit. Uh, I've just got a good brass barrel swivel. Got a short piece of rope. We explained how to make these the other day. Uh, just burnt the ends, tied it up. And uh, I know you guys have heard me say a lot about uh, when you've got your dogs on these, you don't want to have any knots in them. But uh, I do have a knot in this and I wanted to explain that because I had a question about that. I don't want to have a knot on the end back here. Uh, Nick, you can zoom in on these too. Um, I don't want to have anything that the dog can hang up, you know, like in a fork of a tree or something like that. But you do, it, it's necessary to have a knot down the way just a little bit. Here, sit, watch. Okay, you want that, you want that uh, to latch up. Can you see that, Nikki? Mm -hmm. you, want to, you want that knot to be right at the dog's head here, okay? Uh, young dogs, you want to try to keep a, a steady tailbone, bone. And uh, we're going to start a drill with Trinity tomorrow. Actually, a formal yard drill to help uh, introduce steadiness. We've already got it going in the field somewhat, but we want to make it a little bit more black and white for her to understand. So we're going to, um, we're going to show you guys how we do that drill. Uh, we're going to be very careful with it. It's going to be a multi-day process. It's not something that's going to be done one or two times and then magically she's going to be steady. But my thing is I just wanted you guys to be able to see the, the proper knot placement on this. I've already got uh, one person that um, I'm going to send this to. Uh, she gave me the proper answer. Uh, and I'm sure probably before I get home tonight I'll have someone else give it to me. But this is a steady tab. Uh, it's used to steady this dog up. Heel. Heel. Right here. And the way, the way that you're going to do this, sit. Ford's already steady. Heel. Sit. He's, he's running master at the current time. Sit. What you're going to do here, this, this works just like your pig and string. Ford is a pig and string dog. Um, but all you're going to do is you're going to tell your dog to sit. Mark. And you're going to just kind of pull up on it. You see here, he's he, he knows what this pressure is about. Sit. And then as the as the mark's going off, I'm going to repeat sit. And I'm going to hold pressure there. And uh, that's what this tab is used for. Again, the knot is up high on the dog's head. So he doesn't get his or herself in any trouble. Sit. So guys, I hope uh, this explains the knot situation a little better. Uh, we're going to give a couple of these away. And like I said, we're going to be giving away a brand new uh, Tritronics Garmin 550 Pro Collar here in the very near future. Uh, I need to get 2,000 members on our page before I'll be able to do that. So you guys tell everybody that you know about Trinity's training page, uh, your retriever clubs, your retriever friends, uh, people at your hunt test that you're attending. Um, Especially you guys that are running uh, um, minor level dogs, junior, you know, junior level dogs, uh, started dogs in HRC. I believe this page will really help those guys out or I wouldn't be doing it. Okay, guys, I thank you for tuning in. Like I said, I'm going to be sending a couple of these steady tabs out here in the next couple of days. I hope you're the recipient of one of those. Thank you for watching. And we're working together for our well-trained retriever.